Thanks, Millie and Andy. Well, where am I? I'm in the middle of Chipping Norton at the uh, Boat Shed. This is where the Liverpool Art Society come and hang out every Thursday. So I'm going to go and check it out and see what it's all about. I'm usually behind the camera, but today it's a little bit different. I'm on a journey around my local area to discover some amazing artists. This is Edward Shears, and he's the president of the Liverpool Art Society. Come on around, I'll show you around. No worries. The Liverpool Art Society has been around for yonks, even before I was born, and like all things, it starts from somewhere. Probably 40 years, I would think. Uh, over the last 12 years, we, we 12, roughly 12 years ago, we incorporated, and uh, then we sort of got a little bit more serious, but before that, we were sort of just a, basically a collection of, of people that put on an art show in some of the shop fronts and things like that around Liverpool. Their members run this art society and their aim is to foster, promote and share experiences. They have weekly art groups in life drawings, watercolours, oils, artist demonstration, workshops and even exhibitions throughout the year. If you ask me, these guys are on it. To me it's that social uh, part of it as well, that our artists can get together with other artists um, away from the dreary humdum, and especially these days when life's getting tougher. To be able to come, art heals. Do you, do you find like you almost escape to a different realm when you paint? As far as escaping, you, you do. You, you, you've got to concentrate on what you're doing, so you really do. Mm go off into your own little world while you're painting. I suppose that's part of the attraction of it. What is it that, that thing that you know that works and it always takes you wherever you need to go? Uh, I think keeping it simple is what I've learned. Trying to keep it, trying to keep it simple and not getting kind of too bogged down by details. I tend to like the light more than the detail and just showing a time of day or something but um, keeping it simple to me works. So. I think that um, it's a way of, of sort of making your inner feelings felt and bring them out of yourself because sometimes when you paint you don't even realise what you're feeling but it comes out in the painting. Now looking around I can't get over how talented these artists are. Georgia paints on bark and the detail is mind-blowing. Check this painting out. Rod, tell us, tell us, tell us something about your painting. The particular one is uh, in my backyard at uh, Brinjelli. This is an early morning from a photograph that I took yeah. in the winter time. Uh, it's been around forever. The Aboriginals have been around for 40,000 years and their story is still written in rocks and that's in my But uh, people can sort of write their stories and in their art doesn't have to relate to anybody else but uh, it's something that sort of uh, form of expression form of writing a book you could say true that talking about books let me write the next chapter i met up with crystal kovacs who's a young abstract artist who's also a member of the liverpool art society she's been painting for a few years and it's interesting how music has formed a part of her painting identity i draw my inspiration from my combined love of both music and art um, I've been playing the piano since being a young child and um, being able to adapt some of my favourite songs into my art pieces as well as drawing on the beautiful and both pure and simple subject matter that I like to portray um, and drawing out the aesthetic and intrinsic qualities within this subject matter is what I love to do. And um, through my painting, through the um, brushwork, the texture, the colour, as well as the depiction of tone and lighting, I bring out the very simple um, subject matter qualities into an abstracted form. What I've discovered in my journey of becoming an artist is that it's very important to do what is true to yourself and um, follow your own passion. Um, I think that at the end of the day, um, if you do follow what you're really truly passionate about and if you're not sure just to experiment and try and discover that, um, then that will lead you to happiness. It's very, very fulfilling. Last but not least, there's another artist I'd like you to meet. His name is Edward oh, Haidu, on, Edward. a talented oh, portrait on, artist. Originally from Baghdad, Iraq, he's been painting from when he was a kid. And believe this, he's even painted Saddam Hussein himself. I leave Iraq because the situation, it wasn't safe. And I come to 
Sydney, Australia at 92, and still I continue with the painting. War is never a good thing, and it's a privilege for me to see Edward continue painting here in Australia. He's painted many great Australian faces, some of whom we've all grown to know. I'm just looking at the detail of this painting. It just, it just strikes me how, how accurate he is when he, when he paints these things. Um, just looking close, you, you can't, it, it just seems so chaotic and it, it doesn't make any sense, but when you pull back, and see the big picture, everything just comes together. It seems art just has that ability to bring humanity together, doesn't it? I kind of wonder where we would be if there was no art. I hope these guys continue to paint because without art, there's no expression. And without expression, I don't think there's any life. I'm just blown away by the amount of artistic talent that exists in this world. One thing I've learned about art in this segment is art is an expression of self-being. Now, if you want to get involved in art, why don't you go and check out your local art society or club, join up, Google it, whatever you want to do. But anyways, I'm out of here and back to you guys at the studio.